Hi there, it's Lori Dake again with Kel Realty, your Illinois licensed broker. So, you're getting ready to move. Things are getting put away, taken down. Things are getting a little more echoey, right? Well, if you haven't already, you're going to have to need to figure out how to get it from A to B. Stick around and we'll get right into that. Okay, and we're back. Now, this first question I ask you sounds like a duh, but stick with me for a moment. Where are you moving? <laughs> what I'm asking is, is this local or long distance? Are you going from Pilsen to Avondale or are you going from Seattle to Chicago? Now, keep that one in mind because the next of the questions is going to tie into that, okay? So, are you going to be moving by yourself um, or are you going to be getting some help? So if it's just you or maybe you and your partner or you and your family is going to be doing this yourself, well, that makes things a lot easier. Maybe not so much on your back, but you're not relying upon other people, including friends and family, including the ones that you feel you can trust, but well, things happen. But if you are going to be getting other people involved, I recommend if this is going to be just yourselves you're not hiring professionals ask more people than you think you need many hands make light work always get more people that away even if half of them say they can't do it you still got half more who say they can now the another question is is when are you moving if you're in a position where you don't need the apartment until the first, it's vacant now. Maybe you want to start your lease on the 15th so you can do like my husband and I did. And that maybe you don't need as many hands if you've got plenty of time to play with. If you're going to be getting involved with another company, if you're looking for a, a move-in date of the first of the month, you might want to book that as soon as you find out you're moving because that's always the most uh, requested date. Uh, see about, you know, maybe a couple of days early or late if you can sleep on the floor or get a hotel for a couple of days. If you can uh, have some gap with your current place and, you know, trying to get a mover on the first of the month is tough. I'm just giving you a big warning about that. A lot of people are surprised, especially in the spring and summer in Chicago. That's some of the busiest times of the year. If you're going to use a do-it-yourself service, but you're going to be renting their trucks and things besides the date, number one, yeah, these companies, um, especially if you get in one of these big trucks, you are able to do this yourself. They've made things easier for you, but, you know, maybe you don't feel comfortable doing that. If you can get a smaller van or something and just do a few extra trips, maybe you can save a little bit money in the big versus a small. You'll be able to back the vehicle into the spot that you're going to be using easier. You won't be hogging up the alley. The other thing is if you get a trailer Follow the speed limit that they recommend. Make triple sure everything is plugged in correctly. Things like that. It's so important. I want you to be safe. And because let me tell you, if that trailer flips, your vehicle might be flipping with it. You ever play with a train, a train set and one flips and the others go to, with it too? Yeah. You don't want that happening on the highway. Uh, if it's windy... Go under the speed limit. Turn on your hazards while you're driving if you have to. Um, if you have anything hanging past the top, hang a flag. Follow 
all the safety instructions. I want you to be safe and get you and all your stuff moved over in one piece. The one thing I'm going to tell you to do, and this is especially if you use another service, is every box, especially if the service doesn't provide it for you, go get some labels, all right? And every box that you pack, put on there a label, not just saying bedroom, but no, have your name, your new address on there, your new phone number, if it's a new one, and you, maybe you want to have a generic email just for this cause. You know, you can always make, you know, a, an email or something, or the email you always use. But put those things on a label on every package. That way, if anything does get forgotten or left behind or, my gosh, you know, something happens, there's information on how to get it to you. Now this next one here, following up on the labels, you can actually put printout labels inside the packages too, if there is ever any kind of dispute whatsoever, or maybe the label fell off the box. Now one of the things I tell folks all the time, of course, is to read your contract. And when it comes to moving companies, one of the big things that's going on is people are getting sticker shock and part of it is because the word estimate and the word quote is two different things. Also, there might be a lot of additional line item charges that they weren't really made clear on or made aware of. Maybe they did all this stuff online. They clicked the box. I agree and didn't read all that extra stuff that's going to come along and there have been cases where people felt like the moving company was holding their stuff hostage and they were even getting the police involved calling theft. I mean, this is some scary stuff and this is why I'm telling you to be prepared is find out if it's an estimate versus a hard quote. Find out if there's any other charges that can come along. Um, when the guys are moving, they are going to have their hand out before they open that truck and start bringing stuff in. So I don't want you guys to have sticker shock and, you know, and to be upset. I want you to have an easy move. So research the companies that you're going to use. Don't just go with the first guy that comes up. Don't just go with the only one that can specifically meet your moving day. And you might want to go with someone that you have a lot of references for. Okay, so we went through a lot in a short amount of time. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me if you have any other questions or comments. I'm always here to help. And remember, I always have time for you and your referrals.